so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Yeah, we are ready. Hi. Hello. 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 I am Youngbin Yoon, a CASA administrator. I believe that the words you share with us today will be meaningful guidance and inspiration for our future generations who dream of a space. It's an honor to be here with you today, sir, and the very strong words. I, there's so much to learn and explore about space, and I'm very, very uh, inspired by what Korea is doing to push forward that envelope. For today's interview, CASA collected a question from the public for you. Out of all the questions we received, we selected some interesting questions. Are you ready for the questions? I am ready for the questions. Yeah, <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Reviewing the question we've collected, the majority are about what you eat, what you wear, and how you sleep in space. Among these, people are curious about how food is stored on the ISS and which meal you have found the most delicious there. The food on board is actually pretty good. It's a, we have a food lab at Johnson Space Center and they do an amazing job finding local ingredients, making the food, dehydrating it, and shipping it up here. Um, but with that being said, probably the most favorite thing I have made up here is just things that remind me of home. One of my most favorite things to make for my kids, so I love to cook, and I love cooking for my family, and they love Spam and eggs with a side of cochinon. And, and so that's actually been my favorite thing. You put it in a tortilla, oh, it's so good. And I'm personally looking really forward to that because I ate through all my cochinon, but I heard there's some in a care package in Cygnus, so I can't wait to get that. <laughs> that sounds delicious. How is laundry done there? Is there a unique method for washing clothes in space? So we don't actually wash clothes in space. And, uh, that means and uh, what that means, it's water is one of the is a really heavy molecule, and uh, we find it more cost effective to actually throw away our clothes when they get dirty. So we ship up enough clothes to last us for the entire mission. Uh, that sounds like really smart system. Not doing laundry, throw out all the used used clothes. That's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> and you did mention water, and I want to show how water behaves in microgravity because it's also one of the coolest things. Um, surface tension is the prevailing force up here, and what that means is when you see fluid, it coalesces into a perfect sphere, and it's just a really th cool thing to watch. Let me show you. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and, th and that's how water behaves in space. Um, a little dangerous because I do like this shirt and I got made a little mess, but I'll have to clean that up later. As South Korea is striving to become a space powerhouse, uh, many Korean youths are looking up to you and nurturing their dreams of uh, becoming astronauts. So they are curious about the training for astronauts like you. Uh, what training was the most memorable for you? So the training that's most memorable for me was, you know, I think the most important thing, especially as technology moves forward and we become more automated, is how strong our interpersonal relationships can be, how effective we can be as team members. And so for that, the most memorable experience for me was an outdoor leadership course. Johnny Kim, now I'd like to share very important event with you this time. In Korea, we are preparing for the fourth launch of the Nuri rocket at the end of this November. Would you like to give some words to those who have prepared for Nuri's fourth launch? I would be honored to. First, I'd like to extend my hearty congratulations to Korea and the uh, Korean Aerospace Administration and everyone that's worked so hard to make that happen. Spaceflight is very, very difficult. It requires cooperation and collaboration across disciplines and countries. 
And I want to express how inspiring that is as a Korean American to hear that Koreans are boldly going forward to explore that next frontier and to do it together. It really shows how much cooperation and collaboration, how effective that can be and how much we need that in our world today. So congratulations to that big step. I know there's going to be more and you have an entire generation of children to inspire that are going to make our world a better place. During CASA's first anniversary, May 27th, you shared a video message encouraging people to never lose hope. So what message would you like to give to the next generation dreaming about space exploration? Life is always full of challenges and unexpected surprises. And it's not so much how we respond to those events in real time or if we fail. It's about how we get up and the moves we make we make after that. So I'd like to extend it to people, maintain hope, but also have a lot of resilience moving forward. And with hard work and keeping your eye on the prize, remembering why you're doing what you're doing, you'll be surprised with how far you can get. Lastly, I would like to invite you to Korea after you return to ours. Looking forward to seeing you again in Korea. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with me here today and signing off from the International Space Station. Goodbye. Thank Goodbye. you. Goodbye. Bye. We want to see you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh.